it's going to sound a little cliche because it was my first scene with Ramon. Mm -hmm. But that one I thoroughly enjoyed because uh, it was a BDSM shoot. And mm -hmm. that's something I am so into in Ooh. my personal life. Yes. I love it so much. And yeah, the things that happened before that even while we were shooting like the intro and all that to that scene it was so funny it was very memorable in the way that i've never experienced anything like what i did when i met him mm -hmm. so there's that as well how so could you explain that yeah i could <laughs> it's so corny <laughs> oh my god so by the time i met him i was already like i think about a year in or so so I've already, you know, shot with other people and it's not a personal thing at all. You know, it's work. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I mean, you're, you're fucking on camera, but it doesn't really go beyond that mm -hmm. um, as far as like if it's, I don't know. Like there's no like feeling, you're, yeah, you're no not, you're, feelings. You're not like catching no feelings afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a no strings thing. And basically, <laughs> I remember I did my pretty girls. I'm back in the little dressing room and he walks in and I melted like butter. I tell everyone it was like, like butter in a microwave. Like, you know how it just goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's exactly how I went. Like, or, oh God. was that the first time that you saw him? Ever met him. Yeah. Okay. So the first time you ever laid eyes on this man or at least in person, because yeah, I'm yeah. sure you'd seen porn with him in it was when he walked into that dressing room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I honestly didn't even see any porn that he was in before either because um, I didn't I didn't watch a lot of pro porn, I think. Mm -hmm. I did more. I mean, I've seen like a lot of Vixen, and, but I, yeah. I loved amateur stuff mm -hmm. um, on Pornhub and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But let's see. I Yeah, I, melt, I immediately just felt like this wash of like ease slash calm mm -hmm. when I met him. And I don't know how to it's weird it's i never believed in first or love at first sight until i met him mm -hmm. and i thought it was the corniest shit ever i was like ew what am i feeling right now why am i feeling it like we just met each other i have n i know nothing about him he knows nothing about me but yeah it was it was interesting and of course the chemistry was there, yeah. you know, we were, you know, very flirty, um, in between takes. Uh, yeah, it was such a strange feeling. Um, yeah, it's everything, mm, all my stress, everything I ever thought I knew about love mm -hmm. just changed. And then, fucking, so then it was weird. Yeah. I mean, from someone that, that was feeling. very skeptical about even finding love in the first place. Mm -hmm. And um, I had gone through like a really bad relationship experience just as a stripper. And I, he made me believe for a second that I wasn't worthy of love mm -hmm. because of what I did. And that really, really, really got to me. Like, I'm sure. and uh, yeah, there's this whole, that between that three year thing between porn and stripping, mm -hmm. I went to the, to the psych ward. Cause I had really, I had a lot of mental growth to do, mm -hmm. um, struggled with depression, all of that, which sucks, but I wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't gone through that. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, our struggles make us who we are. Right. You right. Know what I mean, if life was always just easy and there was never any bumps in the road, like you don't, then you don't grow. So it's right. like those struggles are, they suck when they come up, but they end up being kind of like our greatest gifts. Yes, because I be totally believe I would not be here if I hadn't done that. If I hadn't taken myself to the psych ward because I felt unsafe with myself. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't have gone to therapy. And that's something that I advocate for because that just saved my life literally mm -hmm. alongside, you know, medication. But yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm in a way I'm grateful for that dark time because yeah. it taught me so much. It taught me gratitude. It taught me how to really see things in a different light mm -hmm. and to appreciate things for what what they are and when they are, just everything around me. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, that's why when I found Ramon, I was really focused on myself mm -hmm. and my healing and 
really finding my own peace within myself and learning to love myself that little self-love self-care thing that was my self um my little self-care era and i do feel that like the right people walk into your life when you when you're in that place mm -hmm. where you're taking care of yourself and you're starting to you know work on yourself that's yeah. when i feel like the universe is like okay you're ready for this for this thing because i mean i know you know for me if i had met my current husband many years ago before i got my shit together like that relationship oh. never would have worked out yeah i totally believe that and um because that's kind of where things are with us like if he had met me psh, he would not have tolerated me for like two days yeah, yeah. <laughs> but basically i remember before even meeting him i was trying to replace the love that i had before and so i was actively searching for it and realized that nothing ever went well or nothing good ever came out of searching for it. Mm -hmm. So eventually I accepted that. Let's stop looking. Let's take care of this. Let's take mm -hmm. care of me first. Yeah. And I always tell people it, it comes when you're not looking for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is so absolutely true. Yeah. So then after the scene, mm -hmm. like, did you get his number? Like, how did you, did. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I got his number. Uh, and we were supposed to go out to eat afterward, but he's a busy man. He's still to this day, he's always freaking working. And he had to go head to testing last minute. So he's like, oh, it's okay. I'll, uh, I'll just text you later. And I was so bummed. I was like, fuck, okay, whatever. It's not like I wanted to spend time with you or anything. Or like get to know you better or whatever. And so he ended up coming over after that. Then we hung out. He brought me a little, like a little box of chocolates too. Oh it was God. so cute. I was like, I love chocolate. How did you know? But um, I mean, that's pretty easy. I think everyone loves chocolate. But yeah. <laughs> I appreciated the little gift. Um, you know, and since then, yeah, I think he slept over the first night. I was going to say, have you guys been kind of inseparable since then? Mm -hmm. And to a lot of people, that might sound like a red flag, but... We, we were literally inseparable. Um, we didn't want to be away from each other for like like a whole week, <laughs> pretty much. And Yeah. I mean, that sounds like love to me. It was weird because even I was like, I, well, I've never experienced anything like that where I felt that, that what is it, magnetism? Is that a word? Mm -hmm. It's that magnetic feeling. Yeah. Like I wanted to be around this person. And he wanted to be around me too. And so we just went with the, uh, yeah, went with the flow. Yeah. And since then, we've been flowing since. 